How you doing guys? I'm Marshall Thompson and I started the site TheUnknownWarrior.com so everybody can check me out and see what I'm doing, see what I'm fighting, see what's going on because I had a lot of people coming to me all the time. When I go home, when are you fighting again? When we're going to see you on TV? We ain't seen you on TV yet. How your injuries doing? All this stuff. And basically, I don't know. And if I did know, I wouldn't be fighting. I'd be doing something like predicting lottery ticket numbers and being a billionaire, millionaire. But since I can't do that, I don't know how to do that, what I'm going to do is do what I've been doing. Keep working hard to do to reach my goals, obtain my goals. So basically, I'm going to give you all a little background on what's going on with me and how I started out. I started out in 2004 in Jackson, Mississippi under my best friend, Jerry Banks. Right there. I went to the gym thinking that I can do boxing. Started trying to learn a little bit of boxing. He told me, you'll never be able to box. Because I was thinking, baby, I could do maybe a tournament, be able to box, be able to take some pro fights later. He's like, man, you never fought before. And the way you're looking right now, you look like slaw. <laughs> you, you look like slaw. You're just keeping it real. But I appreciate that. But what that do for me, that turned me up to another level. I'm like, man, I'm not, I'm not listening to what you're saying. I'm the type of person yeah. that I'm going to push to another level. He's my best yeah. friend now. But at that point in time, he didn't know me. I was just starting at school. Didn't no, know that that was going to push me and push me to another level. Right. So started training. About a year and two weeks later, right. um, he introduced me to a mixed martial arts fight. Right. And I said, okay, I'll take this fight. Was out of shape. Didn't know. I can't say I was out of shape. It just nah, didn't have a, yeah, didn't have a. Just the fact that, you know, it's a first fight. You got to realize anybody first fight is going to always be awkward. You got anxiety. And he had one week's notice, you know, that he was going to be fighting in Alabama, outside, in the cold, wintertime. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was breathing, seeing the fumes. Fumes going up and everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, and he went at it 100 miles per hour. You know what I'm saying? The first round. So tired that he crawled back to the corner, had to be picked up to put on the stool, came back out in the second round, same mentality, 100 miles per hour, was so tired this time that during the fight he put his hands on his knees and the guy tried to charge him, you know what I'm saying, and we do a drill over and over again, with because I always turn the thermostat to 100 degrees, make you drill over and over again. I don't think that was healthy now, man. <laughs> Hey, hey, look, it worked, hey, it worked, but it worked yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, so yeah. ain't nobody going to give it to us, we got to go, 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 go get it, you got to go get it, that's something it. we used to say all the time, all the time. ain't nobody going to give it to you, you got to go get, get it. it, you know what I'm saying, yeah, so yeah. he pushed front, kicked the guy in need and won the fight, you know what I'm saying, and went undefeated, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, for two more years, 4-0, you know what I'm saying, he was coming with it, exactly, but before, I didn't even know what mixed martial arts was, I came out and tried to learn how to box, he ended up choking me out with a triangle choke, and never seen <laughs> jujitsu, never seen nothing, I'm like, man, this man, it's so much smaller than me. At that time, I was stronger. You know, I was bigger because I wasn't doing nothing but lifting weights, you know, and everything. But I was like, man, this ain't this ain't what they show me on TV. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The bigger guy's supposed to always win. You know what I'm saying? And his mentality, he don't want to be the one getting choked. He want to do the choking. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand that mentality, you know, is best suited for him. You know what I'm saying? Because that takes him up to another level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after that period of time, I was 4-0. We went up to train at uh, Master Lord Irvin's gym in Camp Springs, Maryland. And I was like, man, this is awesome, man. These guys are on a whole nother level. Came back home and actually learned that I got accepted to a PhD program, clinical psychology, at Jackson State University. Full stipend. I turned it down. Everybody thought I was crazy because I said, man, I got to move back to Maryland. I got to move to Maryland because I want to be the best in the world. I see this as an opportunity for me to go out and actually help people after I get this fame and everything, go out and build community centers, do some things that can actually help some people. Because you got a lot of people out there who have a gift and talent, but they don't do nothing with it no more than do things for themselves. So I said, this is an opportunity for a regular, ordinary person to actually do something. I train, and a lot of people say, well, you're so athletic, you're so strong, that's the reason why this, but I kid you not, I'm going to show you something right now that will show you that that's basically not the case. Back in 1998, this is my senior picture from my yearbook in Wingfield High School, Jackson, Mississippi. I was super small. I, that was 11th grade, but I remember in the ninth grade year, I was 5'2", 92 pounds. I was always one of the smallest people, if not the smallest person in my class. But came back my senior year, said, you know what, guys, in Coach Tadlock's class, I'm going to do the EAS challenge. They kind of pumped me up with it, but guys were laughing. Everybody was laughing and said, man, he ain't going to gain no weight. I remember my mom even laughing saying that. You can't do it. Taking this stuff ain't going to help you. You're genetically just super small, and you're not going to be strong. You're not going to be able to do it. But the laughter turned into amazement three months later when I gained 30 pounds of muscle. So that's what the type of person I am. I'm always coming back, always doing something, always working hard. You know, you that's got, just me. You got to realize something, too. When he started doing mixed martial arts, you know what I'm saying, he came in with that same mentality, even though he had 30 pounds more muscle, probably 40 pounds more. He used that canvas. You know what I'm saying? He just wants you to, you know, input all kind of information, stroking on the canvas, making that Mona Lisa for him. You know what I'm saying? Because he's the type of person, he's going to do it in the heat of battle 
what you ask of him. He's going to drill what you ask of him over and over and over again. It's no, I'm tired. It's this do. You know, if you say do it, it will be done. That's his mentality right there. You know, so. Exactly. And that's basically my mentality, like you said. But my mentality, a lot of people say, I'm going to give 100%. Or they say, I'm going to give 120%. But they don't know what they're saying. But I really believe in giving 110%. And you ask, well, you only got 110%, 100% as a human. But the other 10% is the mentality that I bring in when I'm doing it. Me listening to my coaches, me having a good attitude, doing exactly what they tell me to do. And then people look like, oh, wow, he's so good. He's so talented. I learned that same thing that people always say about me. They said about all, most of all the students at Master Lloyd's Irvin's Academy. But they don't realize that. They're doing all the drilling behind the scenes, all the conditioning behind the scenes. And Master Lloyd has this mastermind principle set down for your training and everything you're supposed to do step by step by step. So everybody thinks it's some freakish thing, but they don't realize, just like Magic Johnson said, he said, he seemed like the more I practice, the luckier I get. It seemed like the, the harder I work, the more I drill, doing 2,500 reps that Master Lloyd tells us to do, the more athletic and the stronger I look, not knowing that for three years in high school I couldn't make the basketball team because the coach said you lack size and strength. Now everybody thinks it's genetics, which is basically not the case at all. So just want to let you guys know a little bit about myself here, but you can check out my bio at theunknownwarrior.com. You can see a little bit more in depth what I went through. But after that period of time, when in the WK, WKA National Championships, um, I got injured. I got injured, which put me out for about 12 months, and I came back for about a month from that groin injury and you guys can see right here that I believe in being a human doing first instead of being a human being. So I actually try to go ahead and study something, actually start trying to go and look at videos, start working on my mental capacity, try to see what I can do to better myself. Because I'm a person when I'm out, when I'm injured, I always look at that as an opportunity for, for me to know that something's wrong in another area, it's pushing me to, to be better in that area so I can be the best in the world. So and during that month, I came back, got injured, trying to help um, Moose and get ready for a WEC um, debut. Just strained my other groin for another 12 months. But while I was out for that period of time, Coach Tom Zarita introduced me to a Keystone Boxing boxing gym where I met coaches um, Gary Russell, which is a head coach, and also Coach Robert Martin, which was 2008 Olympic coach. And there I began to work on some boxing and some other things. But I ended up Hurt myself a little bit more in that, but you can see it more in depth on the site. Like I said, the bio at theunknownwarrior.com and see exactly what was going on with me. But that's basically it, guys. Just want to let you know what I'm doing. I'm coming back from being off, trying to come back and trying to do some things to try to show you that I'm coming back and I'm going to work extra hard to do things. Even though it's four years later and I'm the underdog, I've always been the underdog. So I don't mind being the underdog, but I want you guys to see me work hard every day at theunknownwarrior.com so you can see what's going on. And make sure y'all check that out because what you're going to be witnesses, and this is hard for human beings to do, is you're going to witness evolution in the process. You're going to witness a normal guy transform to a champion. The daily, daily activity that he has to go through, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So check him out, unknownwarrior.com. Exactly. Check me out, unknownwarrior.com. Like I said, you know, other times in my life, people always laugh when I was trying to do something, but guess what? The laughter would turn into amazement again and again and again. Even though I work hard, you're going to see me crying in the gym. Sometimes I'm working on circuits, I break down. Sometimes I'm hurting, but I keep going, keep giving it everything I got while I'm in the gym. And it ain't just about me. You'll see the people that's around me, that influence me, that bring me into the realm that I'm in, and to help me to keep pushing and keep persevering to be the best that I can be. So I ain't quit. I haven't given up. I just had some injuries, had some mental setbacks, had a lot of things went on. I went in depth on my site, but like I said, look at it and see what's going on. I didn't know you knew what that word quit mean, man. You know? I know what it means from observing it from other people, you but me, saying? myself, I don't believe in quitting. Keep on going from the picture. I go hard and send everybody else home. How about you? Exactly. You know what I'm go saying? hard and send everybody else home. Exactly. Putting, so. that, putting that seasoning down right, right now. You know what I'm so saying? In your life, you go through a lot of things, but that's that seasoning that's basically making that making that steak taste good or the ingredients to go in the cake. You got a cake and you have salt in the cake and eggs and then flour and stuff that ain't sweet all together. But when you put it all together, it makes a, a sweet pound cake. I love pound cake. Like you know what I'm saying? Cake. I love yeah. pound cake. So right now, I want y'all to see me come back and see me paint just like that little picture you seen earlier me, I started out from nothing. So I want y'all to see me be able to build on top of that because there's something inside of me that pushes me to go harder and pushes me to be great even when circumstances in my life tell me I can't do it. So check me out at theunknownwarrior.com. Check out my bio. I know it's a little long, but it's good. See you guys later.